Welcome back to another Jay's Call Luck video, and today I am reviewing Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame. It doesn't say Endgame like the Infinity War one, but we all know this is from Endgame. Power Gauntlet, or Hulk's Gauntlet as I know it, because his was a lot bigger and it's, it's just like Thanos's, but the opposite hand, and in red and gold and gray. But anyway, on this box art, it's essentially the same as the Infinity Gauntlet. It, actually, it is the same as the Infinity Gauntlet, just a different prop and everything, or um, roleplay item. So when it comes to the box right here, we get a look at the Gauntlet right here in a fist form. We get the Avengers logo, and it does say Power Gauntlet on the box. We also get the Legends logo on the other side, right there. On top, we get a look at the gauntlet where it's like laid out with the hand open and everything and basically all the same logos. We get a look at the fist side once more. It's kind of standing up. We get a look at both different ways of the gauntlet with the hand laid out and the fist once more. And we got again the Legends logo and the Avengers logo. And right here we got a look at the inside of the hand um, of the gauntlet standing up. So anyway, that's a look at the box art. Let's go take a look at my unboxing experience. Okay, so unlike the last video, I'm going to try doing the unboxing here on the table. Hopefully it turns out well. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to open this up. Now, I've had this for a few years, so forgive me, the box does look a little beat up and everything. And so it may not be in the correct form when it was placed back in. I know I don't have the instructions for the other Infinity Gauntlet. But anyway, uh, we're just going to slide this out like so. Maybe we'll do it one part at a time. That's the part that will go over the fingers and everything. Um, we got the gauntlet. And the base came off, so we'll just pull that out. So, such a profession, professional unboxer. I know, I'm very good at this job and everything. Um, anyway, this is once again in that little baggy sort of protector and everything. Um, it just kind of goes on the base of the box, or of the cardboard here, like so. That way it can stand everything, which pulls off like so. And there you go, that's the inside of the gauntlet. Um, here we have the back right here, and this feels like the spot where the batteries will go. Um, and so anyway, that's a look at the gauntlet. Now we'll take it over to my review station, and we'll actually get a better look at the the item okay so here we have the power gauntlet or host gauntlet as i'll keep calling it and this is good we're going to do the same method like i did with the, the infinity gauntlet where i'm going to just kind of raise the camera up and do little sections of the gauntlet since, since it's so tall and everything so here we have the back of the gauntlet or the back of the hand and it has a, like red paint right down the middle um you got some gold designs that have gold and black designs to go up the side of it right here um and so yeah you got that and it's all basically the only colors are gray black red and gold this whole part of the gauntlet is red right here i'm um, turning to the front of the hand and everything you get again just more red right here it does have like a little texturing and like line designs right here um but besides that it's all red so let me know this is supposed to be painted as well but um there are some designed right there and this side's also red just like the other side so not too much to say for the bottom half of the gauntlet but all the magic happens on the upper half so let's take a look at the rest of the gauntlet here we got the second half of the gauntlet you may be able to see some fingers but we'll talk about those in one moment oh uh, you get this kind of gray design that goes around the mind stone it's like a gray arch design here so you got that it's raised up more than all the other lines on the gauntlet but speaking of the mind stone you have the mind stone right here again the stones are a bit darker but once they're uh lit up and everything they'll be brighter i know that from watching the other the other video the space stone i think was a lot brighter than the other stones but anyway that's the mind stone and this time i will not mess up i will say the right stones i think so going from left to right we have the time stone Right here, the reason I'm touching it is so I can see my finger on shot. So you got the time stone right there. Again, it's like a darker color. Um, we then move on over to the space stone and then the power stone. I'm just getting prepared to film my ranking slash comparison video, and I realize I did it again. I said space and power. It should be power, then space. Um, so... Um, yeah, once <laughs> I'm at strike two and everything. Um, but yeah, I just thought I... Let y'all know I messed up again and that 
I just thought I took the right stuff. Trust me, I didn't know my Marvel details, but um, yeah, once again, I made a mistake. Then the Reality Stone, then the Soul Stone. For those who may wonder why I emphasize on Soul Stone, uh, you'll, if you watch my other video, you know. Um, anyway. Um, but yeah, that's a look at the stones. Again, these stones do not pop out. The only one out of all three gauntlets that did pop out were the third gauntlet, the Nano Gauntlet. That's Tony Stark's gauntlet. Um, and so, yeah, it's really the only complaint I have with this. I mean, some more paint may be good as well, but definitely wish you can take the stones out. But anyway, that's a look at this side. We'll come back to the fingers in one moment. Let's take a look at the other side here. So just turning around and just get more red paint that goes up right here. Just got some other line designs right there. Oh, one other thing I just realized, I forgot to mention. I'm going to raise it up for this part. Uh, down here is where the battery compartment is because there's like a little piece that's going to come off. But I thought I'd just mention that. Okay, moving back to the front of the palm or hand and everything. And this has a bit more color as well than the bottom half of the gauntlet. So you do have some copper gold paint that kind of makes an eye design, like the letter I, right in the middle. And then on the side, you got like a black little circle with a silver circle or gray circle right around it. And on this side, it's just fully black. And you got these black little designs or shapes on the bottom of each finger and everything. So you have that. And then in between all the rest of that is some red paint. So this is a lot more... I don't want to say colorful, but there are more colors on this side than, I feel like, the other gauntlet. Um, it's definitely an interesting mix of colors. Silver, black, red, gold. Um, so, yeah. So, when it comes to the fingers, it got some black and gold paint throughout the finger, and then the rest of the finger is red. So, that's what took me for this. Again, you get that robotic kind of look, um, which makes sense for Iron Man, because he's Iron Man, suit armor. Um, they do bend down everything. They don't... Um, they have a different feel to it when you bend them down on like the other gauntlet. They don't stay in place, although I'm not quite sure if there's a locking mechanism on this one. You can pull some levers on the inside just like the other one, which I'll show here in a few moments. Uh, turning the gauntlet around, you get a look at this side of the fingers and everything. So, yeah, I think just some more of the same paint, black and gold and everything. So, um, yeah, that's a look at the power gauntlet. Now let's take a look at the inside of the gauntlet. Here's a look at the inside of the power gauntlet. You got another bar inside, and you got some finger holes you can put your fingers through and pull down on the gauntlet fingers and everything. Um, so yeah, I just got some hard red plastic in there, and nothing really too else, I don't think, inside. Not that I can see and everything. So, anyway, that's a look at the power gauntlet. Let's now take it back to the table, and we'll take a look at the, at the lights and the um me like trying to pull down the finger joints and everything before we move on to the lights i do want to mention there is another locking mechanism on this one so all you gotta do is just lift this up so you can see is push down on that and that locks it in place so if we just put our finger joints down like so there we go and there you go they're not going to go back up unlike the other way they were a second ago but now if we just push up on this piece they should pop up everything there we go so anyway that's a look at the gauntlet now we'll go take a look at the lights so now i'm going to show you all the lights features and the sounds that this one has um so in order to turn the gauntlet on just by pushing one stones it's just like the infinity gauntlet you're just gonna push the mind stone and this should turn on <laughs> So it made that noise and everything. And then if you want to turn it off, I just realized this, you just hold down and then it should turn off after a certain amount of seconds. Like, yep, there it goes. And so that's just one of the sounds it makes. It only makes one sound from what I can tell by pushing the uh, mind stone. But now I'll take this part out and I'll put this on. You are able to move the fingers like the other gauntlet. Um, same feature where you gotta just put your fingers through the holes and everything. And, pull down on the leathers and everything. So I'll do that. And once you move the fingers, it's gonna turn back on. So this has more of a, definitely more of a robotic noise. I know the Infinity Gauntlet also had that same kind of noise, um, but this sounds more like Iron Man's Nano Gauntlet, like going over Hulk's hand from the end of the movie and everything. But anyway, so yeah, it just makes the same noise, I believe. Um, Okay, well, that noise was new to me. <laughs> I didn't realize it made that noise. Um, but anyway, so yeah, 
That's a look at the sounds and lights for this gauntlet. This one, I think, stays on for ever, or maybe just for a long amount of time, because I, I was waiting for it to turn off before I started recording it, and it did not. So, um, yeah, if you just want to turn off, just push, push down on the Mind Stone. So, overall, I like how this one turned out. Um, well, yeah, I like how it turned out. It's definitely not my favorite, but that doesn't mean I uh, do not like it and everything. So, um, yeah, I did like just how the colors work with these stones and everything and so yeah so let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you thought of this video keep an eye out for my ranking slash comparison kind of of all three gauntlets that have been released for the marvel legends line so with that i hope you all have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you all on the next one take care